belong to Centerfold, baby, baby. You belong on my arm, baby, baby. You are so beautiful, my baby, baby. Now that's my baby, baby. Now that's my baby, baby. You belong in Centerfold, my baby, baby. You belong on my arm, my baby, baby. You are so beautiful, my baby, baby. Now that's my baby, baby. Now that's my baby, baby. Now that's my chick. That's my chick. Now that's my lady, lady. Oh she the shit. Oh she the shit. And she so awesome. She so awesome. And she magnificent. Oh she so awesome. Looking like she belongs magnificent. Hey guys, thank you for watching SLE Sex Love and Everything in Between. We are your hosts. I'm Charmaine. I'm Shannon. Hey y'all, it's Tam. SLE is a show all about sex, dating, and relationships. It's very honest, candid, and sometimes very explicit, especially today. So if you are not into that type of thing, you probably should turn this off right now. And today our topic is you can stay sex. Little bit watch. But <laughs> <laughs> actually, before we get started with this, I believe Tamra had something that she wanted us to get into hmm. first. So I want to share a little sex fact with you guys. So this is juicy. I was listening to a podcast recently, and they were talking about sex somnia. So it's this whole thing of people orgasming. Are that the right orgasm? Orgasming in their sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's like say right. Orgasming and orgasming. Having orgasms. Having orgasms. Having orgasms. Having orgasms. <laughs> in their sleep, and everything from pelvic thrusting to moaning to acting, com everything sex out. Does it come from a dream? Or it comes from a dream. Okay. But I'm never it like happens it. regularly. Dream like it. And they don't wake up. So, like, sometimes you get horny in your sleep, yeah. And you might wake up and masturbate. Or you might be too sleepy and you don't. I try to figure it out. These people are, like, in their REM. So, like, they're still unconscious. They're still sleeping. And they orgasm. Okay. And they get to stay asleep. It's not like they got to roll over and try to get there. <laughs> And it looks different for men and women. So women pelvic thrust, but men actually sometimes have made their partners like fuck them, but they're sleeping. It's like sleepwalk to the next level, X-rated level, I would assume. So if you've experienced, if someone has told you that you have done some sex sonic things, please let us know. I would like to <laughs> figure that out. We're gonna put the spelling at the bottom for you, but I would okay, know please. if you've done some sex sonic things. If you had a new things. way of saying sex somnia, Please let us know as well. Sexomnic right now is it. <laughs> okay. Um, what about your uh, your sex report? Oh, um, so yeah. we also want to take a poll to see where we are sexually. So, ladies, if we've had sex in this past week, a snap. I don't think I've had sex in this past week. Sex in this past week? Like, 
It's obviously there's still porn stars. They're like, I love you. And um, that seems so like soft. that seems like it would be the HBO. Yeah, it's like, like HBO like, soft, soft porn. porn. Yeah, but like like <laughs> like the girls giving you. Yeah, you, can't really see it. <laughs> you don't know if it's really out or not. <laughs> okay. So for me, rough sex is like the the little parts of the passion and that passion porn mixed with some some slapping, some choking, maybe some words, something, you know, it's passionate and it's also a uh, elevated level of kinky and aggressive. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. Shannon, would you have a um passion so I know what passion porn is. Never seen it, but now <laughs> I gotta go watch it because now I'm interested. <laughs> but um I guess I would say aggression. Not aggression to the point where it slightly turns into something criminal, but aggression, like, take charge. Like, I'm your submissive and just pull my hair. Not this hair, but pull my hair. <laughs> Spank me, you know. Stuff like Okay, so is everybody into rough sex to at least a certain extent? Mm -hmm. I like rough sex. You do? Okay. I do too. What is one thing that you really like that you consider rough? I can start off. I like choking a lot. I like <laughs> And some people Show think it, <laughs> I don't want you to choke me where like I, I feel like I'm fighting for my life. Uh -huh, but sure. like sure you, know, you, you can cut off my circulation like a little <laughs> <What>? <laughs> She don't wanna let like, like, like full bling. Like, like a like like no. a slight <laughs> bling. <laughs> I can't terribly, but like a, a little bit. Make it a little bit harder to breathe. That's it. Don't go all in where I got like I can't even speak. I should be able to tell you, okay. That's <laughs> enough. But yeah, I, I like choking. <laughs> Am I the only one? No. No, no I like choking too. That's not that wouldn't be my favorite thing. Like, okay. Like hair pulling. Okay. Okay. Like, What's your whole hand like yank my head back? <laughs> okay. I like that, but I always have like some braids or a weave, so I gotta be like, you can pull it lightly. Like, the, you know what I realized? Like, the weave I just had before I got my little ponytail style. Girl, that little weave held on with dead love. <laughs> you. Big ups to the hair guy for that. <laughs> Since I've gotten locks, I feel like my hair is more tender. Maybe because I don't have to like touch it and maneuver it and mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. manicure it as much and so hair pulling for me has gotten like you know pull softly so like, i like the act of pulling mm -hmm. but not the actual like aggression of it like yes. let me just feel some stroke inside of my locks but like don't actually pull them because i don't know they just feel tender like little plants in my head or something <laughs> no, <I'm cold. laughs> but you know what you i was thinking when you said that though Whenever we, I feel like personally, whenever you engage in rough sex with someone, whenever you want to introduce that to the setting, I think that it should be, like, talked about first. Like, I'm never just going to surprise it on you in the middle of fucking, like, I want this to be rough. Because sometimes the person could be a little, they oh, might man. not know what I meant by that. <laughs> and so, I just feel like you should always have had some conversations. See, I've never had a conversation in terms of rough about sex. it. I'll just, because I don't want somebody to get too rough or do something that I don't like, I'll just tell you what it is that I do like in the middle of it. I will tell you if I want you to join my head. A conversation about like, I want to have rough sex, but in the middle of sex, I will tell you certain stuff that I want you to do. Like, I want you to show me or I want you to pull my hair, slap my ass. How does that transition go? What? Have <laughs> ever caught anybody off guard? Like they were just like, yeah, oh, like how do you how do you just throw somebody out of the maneuver of like, say y'all doing missionary and he's just like really into it and you're like, wait, choke me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't say wait, but I just would like choke. Me. <laughs> I think I have caught um somebody off guard before because I've said it and they just kind of ignore me. Like they didn't do it, so I had to say it again. Like, did you fucking hear me? Like, and then they did it. But they did it, and it was like, like, what is that? <laughs> they wasn't comfortable. They needed a little bit of prepping. Right, like, right. Some prepping That's where I, I agree with you. Talk to them, because you didn't imagine somebody, like, you doing it, and they're like, choke me. You probably not going to catch them to like, fuck, I'm going to keep going. They're like, choke me. Wait, what? <laughs> but also, okay. the things, I think, on a degree of what you like in rough sex. So, like, first, 
I think toys and rough sex are amazing. And for me, rough sex is like, it goes a little bit, I don't know, I won't say further, but like I like the whole bondage aspect. So like being like, uh, like tied to the bed. And then if I'm allowing a person to do that, then there, then we've had some conversation then about like, uh, this is the way I would prefer to be like spanked and like this is the safe word in case the shit got a little safe too, word. too very important too intense. Um, I've never had to use. Well, I guess depending on your level of yeah, depending on like you only get choked because I started. <laughs> But if you get in shows, I can't really say pineapples. No, but yeah, that's why, I don't know, I just think it kind of helps to ease it into the group. And then also sometimes, if that's going to be like your total entire sex, which is, I've had that before recently for my birthday actually, it was just like, that's what I want. I want this total entire like bondage. BDSM. Okay. Can you tell us what BDSM is? So BDSM has many meanings, but I'm going to go with bondage, dominance, submission, and masochism. And those all mean different things and they interplay at different levels. So bonding, of course, is just like um, having parts of your body bound to something else so it's like a restriction movement and then submission i think that usually happens with the role play mm -hmm. and so like there's a name that you call this person you might be going by sir or madam and different things like that what and about then, bitch bitch yeah like that, <laughs> that's your fucking name like, that's okay what you call. i never had anybody call me that right? really i don't never i don't know how i would feel that's why it's a part of our conversation. Because somebody you call you a bitch. Mm. But I, I think like you would like it. it. I think you'll like it. <laughs> I think you'll like it. You would like, like it. it. You like it? Okay. I'm, I'm not against it. I just I've never had it happen, so I don't know how I would feel in that moment. I think mean, that is definitely something that you would have to have a conversation about because you don't want somebody getting comfortable calling you a bitch in bed and then on a regular two. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you ain't had no problem with it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Some people who like to be called nigga and Ben and stuff like that, like that is a type of like dominance and submission in and of its own self. So it definitely can like play itself out in the right way. And that's also part of like the masochism. So like if people are saying like very uh culturally derogatory things to you, like slut, bitch, mm -hmm. or if you're saying derogatory things to them, I even think like just talking about somebody's like body and like yeah. negatively yeah but it's like negative in a way that like it's like sexual like it's not even like something like, 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 like you're like you a dirty whore or some shit yeah like, oh, right, should like, I like that been, like like you fat like, bitch <laughs> like, oh <laughs> well that's real derogatory that's why like, somebody like that that. That. I think a fat bitch who was getting vlogs was like yeah I'm vlogging that fat ass huh no, fat ass is like, fine Go into anybody's 
but with anything, <laughs> just like, just like, you have to, about that. you have to, and if you didn't, you have to kind of ease into it at least. Let me right. feel your finger there. And right. then I'll Play play with it and, and see if I'm okay yeah. with it. Yeah, but you can't just. Just no. mid stroke. He was just like, wait. And that's I not, honestly, like that. I hate to be nasty. But no, you don't. Not, <laughs> no, I mean like gross, but that's not a safe thing to do. You don't know <laughs> where I am as far as my bowel movement. <laughs> 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 know what you like in rough sex and feel comfortable and confident in vocalizing that because I, first of all, I like saw something recently when I was watching this TV show where this woman asked her husband, their spies, to um, have rough sex with her the way that she had heard from one of his spy lovers that he like gets down dirty and passionate and rough and kinky. And so when the woman asked him to do that with her, he did it in such a de derogatory and honestly very mean way. Like, I honestly felt like he took it to offense that she would command some type of sex from him. And so it was essentially kind of like rapey. Like, he was just like jamming it in there. It was like, this is what you want. Is this what you want? And then I've had like friends who have had conversations with me about like they've asked for rough kinky play and they ask more so in the moment not necessarily have been talking about it and their uh partners i would say mostly really their boyfriends because i haven't had any female friends talk to me about their girlfriends doing stuff like this but their their boyfriends just took it to like a totally different level where it's like this is not what i was expecting this is not what i was looking for and i actually like really didn't like it and it made me feel it made them feel bad, like physically, emotionally, and so I don't know. I just think people have had some bad, some bad. Anyway, so if you want the rough sex, claim it and own it, but just tell your partner in what ways you want it. So you want to be choked, you want to be slapped, you want to be aggressively handled, your nipples sucked on hard, or whatever it is. So but like, just <laughs> describe. Wait, wait, I have a funny story about bitten, hard sucking nipples. Okay, hold on, but before you, um, cause I, she was telling a story before, um, we took a intermission, and I want to go back to that. The oh, girl's boyfriend that fucked yeah. her up? On a more serious note, I just want to say to everybody that it is not okay for anybody to do anything to your body that you do not want them to do, no matter what you have consented to thus far, if anything gets uncomfortable for you, it's okay for you to say, no, stop. And at that point... They should stop. Message. <laughs> <laughs> For you. Okay, that was just a little. I'm going to cut okay. that out. That was not funny. <laughs> oh. I like that. <laughs> Go ahead. Now you got to say it every time we get something like inspirational. What, what so to be prepared. So, <laughs> be prepared. Um, so I had a, a rough nipple incident where... Um, a rough nipple incident. <laughs> a, rough, a rough nipple incident. Here's one nipple. But, um, <laughs> so I love, I like having my nipple sucked, um, like most girls. <laughs> so he's doing it and it's like on here, it's just like, oh yes, this is awesome, yada, yada, yada. So he gets to the next one and I'm like, all right, oof, wait a minute, so let, all right, loosen up your grip a little bit. <laughs> but okay, so then he moves on and everything is fine and like after it's all good, I'm like, so wait, babe, my nipple hurts. He's like, huh? Like, my nipple hurts. You chafed it up or something? When I tell you like the next day, Getting in the shower was like so painful. Like I don't know what, like it wasn't a scar, it wasn't a scratch. Like I don't know what happened, but. Shani, you make the most interesting. <laughs> <laughs> they want to eat me alive. <laughs> they, they just want to gobble you up. I don't want this thing. They want some it's skin from now. <laughs> it looks regular again. <laughs> but like, it had, it had This is why she it has to talk everything. to her lovers about what type of rough sex she wants. Communication is key. I will say this every episode. Communication mm -hmm. is key. Mm. It, <laughs> it makes me think I once had a so I think rough sex kind of looks different for 
Well, no, rough sex looks however you want it to look. But I think in my sexual experiences, there have been some differences between men and women. And I used, I had this guy that I dated that really liked for you to, like, scratch and, like, suck his nipples really hard. And, like, that was his, like, rough sexness. But how do you scratch a nipple? Like, you just, like, grab it. <laughs>
what that was about. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fuck him in the ass. 2016. <laughs> New hashtag. <laughs> Hate a real nigga can get fucked. No, no, that's a lie. That's not true. Man, yeah, let me go watch this movie. We are sex positive for everybody who likes what they like. Yes. Well, I got another something that you like that you like. So while taking like a little sex tour, by the way, you guys should check out Sugar and Hamden if you're watching from Baltimore. Ooh. But while I was doing like a little walk through the store, um, I learned that they have this like little taser thing. It's not like a police taser, but it's like a shocker. And it's like a little prick of what I assume tasing feels like. And I was not into that. Like, don't ever fucking shock me. Like, it was like <laughs> static shock, you know, when you walk past some materials or something or some somebody touches okay you. It. Yeah. My girlfriend really liked it. She liked the tingle, tingle shock. Did you know? I was like, no. <laughs> and after you charge them. <laughs> I told you. I was looking at you. And I was like, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> after you charge them, their body is like. Electricity too, so like it's like, oh, I'm not really into it. Cause so if I have to shock you, then if I touch you, you're like charged up, and I get shocked back. And I was like, nah, dog, we can't get that. That's too rough for me. That's too shout, rough. Shout out to our directive. If only y'all can see her reaction. Like literally, That's too she's rough. talking, and her reaction is like, bitch. <laughs> I've been thinking about that, that shock instant. I'm gonna get it though. I'm gonna get it one day when I'm feeling bold and efficient. And we did learn during the break that Tamara has had sex. <laughs> that too was <laughs> like a but it was cleared up real quick. Let me tell you. Turn it to a, oh yeah. Y'all said last like, one. I, I don't know who you had sex with, but I know who I had sex with. That was your head. Any any last words on rough sex? Talk to your partner. Communicate. If you're gonna be choked, you just say <laughs> flat. You're about to say flat. Or something like you can put up two fingers or something. Have like a that. safe sex. <laughs> yes. A safe movement. A safe word. Um, don't be scared to show what you want done because your partner may need that. You know that demonstration. Or say what it is that you don't. Like exactly, definitely say what it is you don't like, and don't be scared to try new things. And dirty talk, dirty talk a lot. Mm -hmm. Dirty talk, and then comment, and let us know what you say. And <laughs> fucking Renee, twenty six.